Yeah, I'm doing great. Uh, happy to be here. Good to see everybody. Closer than usual, I think. Usually everyone's a little further back, but um, it's good. Go ahead, fire away. Yeah, you know, it's not all that unique to what happened to us two years ago when we had the first pick and the 33rd pick where we were taking T. You knew before the, the draft clock started who you were taking at one, and you're doing all that work to get ready for that 33rd pick. And so um, this won't be that different from, from that. And obviously we were able to get a great player in T. Higgins and get Logan Wilson in the round after that. So, um, you know, Duke and his staff have done a great job uh, these last two months getting this thing ready. Um, as a coaching staff, we jump into the party now, you know, and have some catch up to do, but uh, got a lot of trust and faith in Duke that uh, they'll get us to that point, get us caught up pretty quickly. We just need to make, our, make sure our team's getting better each and every year. And, and our offensive line, like Duke probably mentioned, did some great things for us this year. You know, we had 2,000 yard receivers. Joe had all the success he had. Mixon had over 1,000 yards. Um, that's not done with, with a bunch of guys that, that can't get it done. So um, again, we'll look at every area as we move forward to make sure we're putting a best foot forward as, a, as the 2022 Cincinnati Bengals. And um, again, we look forward to starting that process. Well, it's just how it fits with, with what we have, what we're bringing in, um, our schemes. And so there's a lot of things. That I, I'm not going to give you a particular answer there, but, um, you know, they got to fit in the culture of our room as well. they got to love ball. That fits with our team. Um, we got a great group of guys in the locker room right now that, that enjoy the process. They don't just enjoy playing on Sunday. They like spending time with their teammates. They like practicing. They love the meetings. They love all the things that um, help you grind because we just got done with a seven-month season. And, and if you don't love it, um, then we're not going to be able to depend on you in some of those critical moments. And so uh, fitting within the culture of that room is big for us as well. I think the money always helps those guys. Uh, but, but certainly I, I would imagine that people from the outside watched us play this year and saw um, – a really talented team that had a lot of success and they had a lot of fun doing it. And, and I, I'm very proud of that, to be a part of that um, as a coaching staff where uh, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed every step of it. It was long, it was a grind, but we, we loved it. Um, our players liked that. And I think that that really exuded outside the building and people around the world probably saw that. And uh, we maybe hopefully gained some more fans from across the country and across the world. And you know, if, if there's some free agents that notice that and want to be a part of it as well and it fits where we're at, then, then that's certainly an extra benefit as well. Yeah, Logan, uh, Logan did that. You know, whether he'll be available for OTAs is impossible to say right now. I, I think for CJ and Joe, rest is the best thing for them. So, um, again, just not being on it and running around and playing football. Um, they're still able to do a lot of things they want to do in their life. But uh, rest is really just the best thing for a lot of guys like that right now. It hasn't changed at all. You know, the things that are important to me are still as important as they were 12 months ago. Um, just making sure the family's happy. Uh, we enjoy loving and living in Cincinnati. Uh, we got a team that we like to be a part of and enjoy walking in the building every single day. And, and that didn't change. You know, September 1st this season, I, I was looking forward to walking in the building and, and doing all the things. And um, really the pressure and all that, that's just that's just media talk for, for, for headlines to be written. But that's we're in this profession because we love the pressure. I think that's what um, in some sick ways motivates us, you know, that we like the criticism and we like people that doubt you. And, and uh, you know, when you're not good enough to keep playing, you just jump into coaching so that you can, um, again, in some sick way, keep that up. But but it's a lot of fun to, to you know, in a sense, have your back against the wall a little bit as a team and, and uh, come out firing and, and do some of the, the really cool things that we were able to do this year.
just rest, you know, just, just him, you know, getting a chance to, to not play football for a couple months will be good for him. Yeah. I don't think so because that's been our standard all along. You know, even when we were coming up short those first two years, you got to be competing for the division title. And and that's that's the easiest path to the playoffs. And then from there, you get a chance to hit your other goals. And it all starts with the division. Um, so, so obviously – we got a lot of work to do because we feel like it's an extremely strong division with with three teams that all have a chance to win it, you know, and it, outside of us as well. So um, there's there's no chance to relax. There's no we did it last year. We'll do it again this year. It's it's gonna the process starts over for us. We got to put in the work. We got to be prepared to play those other three tremendous football teams, and and uh, we look forward to that. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, I went with with my wife to Florida for a week. Um, and then got a chance to spend the last couple of days with my kids, and and now it's back to work, you know. And again, we like this part of the process, you know. It's it's Duke and Duke and his staff do a tremendous job, getting all this work done and, and getting us up to speed. And now the coaches get a chance to go to some of these pro days and watch these guys for themselves and get a chance to get our input in, um, so Duke can make those decisions that he needs to make. And um, you know, it's not these aren't the midnight nights for us anymore. You know, these are you get a chance to to do some work, but you also get a chance time to to spend some weekends with your families, nights with your family, and so it's a whole different type of season for us now. And um, I, I I really enjoy this part of it as well. Well, I, I think we're in a really good position, you know, with the players we have in our building. And certainly there, there's um, guys we'll be looking at the draft and guys whose contracts are up and free agency and all that kind of stuff. But um, really, when you look at overall the roster, we're, we're in a good spot right now um, to continue to make ourselves better. And a lot of guys that want to be a part of it. And so that, that's encouraging for us. I'll let you know when I talk to them. I got here about 30 minutes ago, so I have yet to speak to any of them yet. Um, I played tennis over in Zionsville with my brother this morning before he moves out of his house, and then I came over here. So uh, our interviews start tonight, so um, I look forward to talking with these guys, getting a chance to know their personality. You know, you only get them in these formal interviews for 18 minutes, and, and but it is a good good first impression you get a chance and and they're being told that as well obviously but uh I, i've always enjoyed this getting a chance to see a guy for the first time and um you know you form a quick opinion and then you and then you use that against the notes you've got from the scouts and we got two more months now to talk to these guys over zoom watch their pro days and so this is really just the first step in the dating process um the scouts have been doing this for a long time but for the coaches it's it's the first introduction there so I, I do. You know, you don't get a chance to go through 700 of them, um, but 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 some you want to make sure that you have an understanding of some of the background before you talk to them for the first time. Well, I think it can go on on opposite ends of the spectrum. Either guy makes a tremendous impression. Uh, I think back to Drew Sample, two two three years ago, I guess. Drew's interview was lights out. You know, I, I it was a 12 out of 10 in my book. You know, and so. That tells you we got to do a lot more research on this guy and see if he fits what we do. And then um, there, there's some guys that could probably come in there and make an absolutely terrible impression where um, if, if it's not important enough to, to give a good impression in the first 18 minutes, then do they, are they really part of what we want to do? And then there's a whole lot of people that fall in the middle, you know, and, and uh, you get a chance to continue to explore that process with them over the next two months. Well, well, I mean, it, it, we're together every day for seven months, you know, so th there's not always these these big major conversations that probably people assume happen. You know, it's it's just like if you're next to somebody for seven straight months and and you have little side conversations about things. And um, I think that we're, we're all very much in alignment, you know, ownership, coaches, players, what we want to do. We want to win Super Bowls and uh, we came very close this year. We're as hungry as ever, certainly going forward. Um, I, but I think everybody in our organization is on the same page with with where we're headed and uh, just as hungry as ever to get there. Yeah.
Yeah. I'm a big fan of the Senior Bowl. You know, we, we got a chance to work it two years ago, drafted several players you know, off the top of my head, Logan Wilson, Akeem Adeniji, um, uh, Akeem Davis-Gaither. I'm sure I'm missing somebody in there too, but uh, there was a lot of guys that were part of that that we got a chance to see firsthand and, and really get a chance to like. And very similar to what I'm saying now, is some guys eliminate themselves and some guys really, really help themselves. And then there's a lot of guys in the middle. But uh, we went last year, and I remember, I've, I've said this many times, we all got a chance to watch Chris Evans and all the one-on-ones. And, um, so obviously we didn't get a chance as a coaching staff to go there this year. Duke and all those guys did. Um, and they have the same, I'm sure, impressions of a lot of guys. And it's just an early chance to, to see these guys. And now it's changed over the last two years because now you get a chance to interview them all. Very similar to this. You know, it's, it's every night you get a chance to spend, I think, 20 minutes with those guys. And I remember really enjoying that last year. And I know that our scouts did that this year. And, and uh, you know, we'll be going back through those notes and, and getting a chance to reflect on all that stuff. Well, Logan, you know, you can't really say he's made giant leaps. He, he was a really steady player right out the gate for us. And um, that's not shocking. I know our scouting department really, really loved him during the process. And um, he was in that conversation and, and the T pick. You know, we took T and crossed our fingers for, for whatever, 32 picks. And then there was Logan right there. So um, I don't think we were probably wrong in that, that decision of wanting to take him potentially at 33 as well. And um, so, again, he, he's just had a tremendous first three years for us and or first what two years, I guess. And, and uh, you know, he's got a bright future for us. Go ahead. I won in tennis today. Yeah, you can tell press I said that. Yeah, uh, you know, Ryan, Ryan and I uh, have crossed paths, kind of crisscrossed over, over 10 years probably. He worked with my brother in Philly. Um, we, we knew a lot of the same people. So we, we've always been in conversation. Um, Luke, Luke has always been great to me, um, dating back to his days at Ohio State, dating back to really, you know, I was on the staff at UC before he took over. Um, you know, he was one of the most honest people. You know, you just appreciate those situations, how people handle it. You learn a lot about them. And Luke was tremendous with our entire staff as we exited and he came in um, handling those guys the right way. And so we, we've stayed in touch ever since. So uh, really pull for, for Luke and his whole crew there. And, and uh, they've done a heck of a job. And so has Ryan and Ohio State, of course. I mean, th those are two coaches who are, who are two of the best in the business. No. No, it's the same. It's it's a physical, hungry, accountable teammate who's willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done, and that's that. Uh, that's what we've looked for from day one. That's what we look for now. Um, like I just mentioned, you know, starting July 25th, whatever, to February 13th. If you don't love it, then there's going to be a moment where you come up short because you're not willing to do everything it takes to help our team win. And I think we got to where we were this year because every person in that building was willing to do it. And so uh, we've got to be very diligent that we continue to add guys that fit that mold. And and I think our locker room is doing a great job guiding that as well. Time for two more questions. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. I, I think um, we have a really solid roster right now. You know, even there, there's obviously decisions in the business side of things that we got to work through. Um, but but we've, we've got a really solid foundation right now with, with talent on this team, leadership on this team. Um, there's always going to be areas you got to shore up, you know, as you go into free agency in the draft. But, um, you know, you, you can point to a lot of positions that we feel really good about right now. And so, adding to those becomes a luxury in a sense. You know, if, if a guy falls there or a guy's um, cheap in free agency and he's a bonus there, it's, it's a, we, we feel like we're in a, a good spot with the roster, but there's, there's still a lot of work we got to do. Got time for one last question. Last question. Well, it doesn't mean it doesn't eat at you. You know, it's it's. Uh, trust me, if you could get inside my head, it might be a different story sometimes. But um, the, the reality is, it's it's in our past, and and it'll be a part of our future because we need it to be. We need it to fuel us. We need to harness those memories of, of, uh, you know, watching watching them celebrate on the field and the confetti fall and what the locker room felt like and 
what the post-game interviews felt like and what the flight home felt like. And, and uh, those aren't memories that I want to fade. You know, you want to be able to harness that and, and fuel you when you get in those moments last year that you, you take advantage of it and you capitalize on it. You don't let those opportunities slip away. Thank you.